As Canadians are starting to head back into stores and classrooms, sit on park benches, there is strong concern among health officials that a second wave of COVID-19 is possible, if not inevitable. Joining us now this morning is infectious disease specialist, Dr. Isaac Bogosh. Good to have you back with us, doctor. Great to see you. You know, we've heard a lot of talk about prepare for a second wave and a second wave is inevitable, but what exactly is a second wave? What does that look like? Is it the amount of cases? What does it mean? Yeah, essentially uh, all a second wave is, is we know that uh, certainly there's not a, a lot of immunity in the population toward uh, COVID-19, whereas we saw case numbers initially rise, now they're coming back down in most of the country if they already haven't done so. And essentially, as people start to mingle again, as people go out and about in their, in their daily life, there's certainly a risk that people can certainly come into contact with each other. They can transmit this infection uh, towards, uh, in community settings. And then we just see a bounce and a, another rise in the number of cases. So that's all a second wave is. It's just another rise in cases. How big it is and when it will occur is currently unknown. And a lot of that just depends on us and how prepared we are for this. Uh, if we do see a second wave begin to develop, what advice should officials follow to try and stop it, to bring those numbers back down? Well, first, I think the, the most important thing is to, as, as governments and regions choose to open up the economy, they should start to do it at the appropriate time. You don't want to do it too soon or else you're just going to see a spike in cases. And then when it is done so, it has to be done so carefully. Do you have access to diagnostic testing? Do you have contact tracing available? So if someone does have a positive diagnostic test, you can rapidly tell them and identify the close contacts. Can you support uh, positive cases and those close contacts through a 14-day period of isolation? Do you have systems in place that you can detect this early in community settings so that a small ember doesn't turn into a forest fire and you can really clamp down before, uh, before the cases start spiraling out of control? These are the key components to ensuring that if there is a second wave, it'll be detected early and it won't be that large and it won't be that disruptive to the general community. As of June 1st, all provinces and territories will begin to reopen in some way or another and more than half our national parks will be open for use during the day. So at our current testing capacity, could we stay on top of a second wave? I think in general, we probably can. It's hard to know because the different provinces and different regions have varying capacity. And some places, I think, are well suited to prevent a second wave or at least to mitigate the size of a second wave, whereas other places might not be. Now, we've already seen evidence of this in British Columbia and Alberta. They've got their epidemics under control. They've curbed their first wave, and they've already experienced small outbreaks. This is a very patchy infection. We're start, we're, I don't think it should come to anyone's surprise that we're going to see a pocket of infection here, an outbreak there. And, and British Columbia and Alberta have already experienced this. They've already rapidly identified these. They've uh, 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 focused public health resources into those areas, and they've prevented them from spreading further. So... I think some places are certainly prepared to, to do this. And in the pre-vaccine era, which we're not entirely sure how long we're going to be in this era, that's going to be part of the new normal. It's going to be mm. rapidly identifying small outbreaks and putting them out before they spread. Uh, Dr. Isaac Bogosh, good to talk to you this time from your office this morning. Thanks so much. <laughs> Thanks. Have a great day. Yeah, you too. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.